Geraldine Perez. I'm a senior and I'm a starting first baseman. Hi, my name is Lene Smith. I am a pitcher, left field, and a shortstop. Nice. Senior too. Senior. Senior. <laughs> For the past four years, I really feel like I built like a family relationship with these ladies and with my coaches. <laughs> um, I don't know, like it was just, you know, I just love the sport and I love, the main reason was because of the people and the coaching and, you know, I never wanted to quit and ever, they, it was just one of those things where I was, if I was ever stressed, if I ever needed help with something, they always had my back. So yeah, I've enjoyed it a lot. Experience overall, a lot of the years, when I was a freshman and sophomore, uh, some of the season I was out, but the drive and like the family environment, it just kept me here because it was like home. I played with them. I've been around their coaching for years and it just feels like the right place to be, especially when you love the sport. Like I love softball with a passion and I love getting on the field, playing the other teams, playing against our teammates. So overall, it's just a wonderful experience. My most memorable game was last year, the last game against Reading. We were down by like four in the last inning. We just, we won like, yeah, we dominated them. And it was probably, I don't know, it was like one of those movie wins or something <laughs> like, you know, the team was down and everything and then we just like won out of nowhere. I really felt like, yeah, that was the best part of my four years. The game was uh, sophomore year, we was playing Hershey, it was an away game. And it was all of us, First off, it was just the whole JV team. We was live. We was having fun, laughing, getting into the game. And it was just like three up, three down, each inning, each inning. In the last inning, we was down, I think it was by like three. And um, <clears throat> it was up our turn to bat. And we swung, Jasmine, she swung, and uh, ran all the way, got all the way to third. And I just remember she got tagged out because she... <laughs> She tripped over the base. <laughs> and it was just funny because after that game, and that was our last out, after that game, we was just like, oh, we did good, clapping everybody up. It was a good game, but that was the most memorable game. <laughs> it was something like that, that this year. Um, Ebony was running home, and she <laughs> fell. She went all the way out, and she fell right there. And then she tried to run home, but they had the ball, and it was just so so many it was damages. People like, running falling into each other. <laughs> <laughs> We've been falling everywhere. <laughs> Making splits on the field. Yeah. <laughs> and that dirt. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's so many, yeah. so many moments. So many hurt moments. Nice. With Coach does, like, I learned not to take too many things to the heart because he does, like, I mean, it's, I, yeah, he pushed buttons, like, but then I learned, like, okay, he's actually really trying to help me. Like, if he's not saying anything, if he's not telling us, like, this is what you have to do, then, like, it really feels like, I mean, he's just not paying attention to you or you just not, like, showing any effort or anything. Because if he's, like, quiet, then you just feel like, okay, then I don't, like, then I'm just here for no reason. Like, he, he really, like, it might seem, like, insulting or any, or something, but, like, he's just, like, overall, like, I couldn't have asked for a better coach. Just a really good coach. <laughs> um, by him being a coach, he's impacted my life a lot because he just made me a more aggressive person when it comes down to playing sports. And I know he really, really cares about us. Uh, like this one time, I had a, <clears throat> like a heart condition, and it was running in my family, and I was out like half the season. And I was coming to practice faithfully every day, every day. And he pulled me aside and was just like, I really appreciate you and you inspire me because even though you can't play, you're still at practice. And that meant a lot to me. And he really pushes me as a player really hard to be a leader and everything like that. And I just know that throughout everything he may go through or we go through as a team, he always has our back. And he's just a wonderful coach. Perry Point Blake, so yeah. Always cracking jokes like corny. <laughs> the corniest jokes. Like he's not, he, even funny. <laughs> he's not funny, but the fact that he always says it, it's funny. <laughs> like I don't know. Like when he's doing that, like it makes it worth it. Like all the criticism, all the um, like he just makes like makes the sport fun. And just I don't know. Like if it was another coach, I don't think I would enjoy the sport as much. Even though I do love the sport, like I would always remember his like corny jokes. 
because like it always made it worth it. Me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think the thing I would remember the most is his walk. Man, that <laughs> joke kills me so much. How he be walking back from, and it looked like his limp is so vicious. <laughs> <laughs> it just looked like he's about to fall, but you know he's not, because that's just how he is. But I think I that's one of he's gonna fall. Yeah, he always be like, my ankle hurt. He be trying to go so hard, trying to hit the balls <laughs> just all stop, out. Just stop, then later he be like, you know what? Let me take a break. Marcy, get get. It. <laughs> so funny. He's he's funny. He's so funny. But that's a yeah. What was one of your most memorable moments of the 2015-2016 season? I would have to say when I had an infield home run and fell my way to home. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, mine would be catching those, those two outs at the last inning. My most memorable year is when I hit the ball all the way out to outfield and it was a home run and I passed out on first base. <laughs> Um, mine would be catching, you know, a lot of line drives. Being at third, it's a hot spot. <clears throat> mine would be playing shortstop when I did two double plays. Mine would be when I caught a line drive and my glove broke. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout this past season, what are one of your most memorable moments about Coach Daz or one of the things that you have learned from Coach Daz? My most memorable moment from Coach Dez is when uh, I was doing something in the field and he called me by my, my, by my nickname, Milky, and everybody was there laughing. Um, one of the things Coach Dez has taught me throughout the season that work hard, uh, hard work does pay off, because I know I used to struggle like in the beginning of the season, but I know now like everything's all good. Something I learned from Coach Dez is uh, don't give up. Like, even if you keep messing up, just keep trying and then eventually you get it right. Um, my most memorable moment with Coach Dez is how he's always throwing shade at practice. <laughs> he always has to make it funny. It's, even, though, even though we have to work hard, he makes it fun. Um, what I learned from Coach Dez would be, like, the way how he he's more, like, pushy. Like, he wants us to do better. So it's, like, the hard work and his tone, the way how he makes softball, like, it, he makes it come alive, so it just, it makes it just feel comfortable. My most memorable moment with Coach Dez was when I was running and then he started laughing at me during the game because I couldn't breathe and I was breathing hard because I'm a good, big, hefty girl. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Look, you hear him. <laughs> All right, I told you what I said. <laughs> I think one of the most memorable moments for me is that even though that we have lost uh, quite a few of our games this year, we still stuck together as a team and picked each other up when we were down. It's, um, that he's a great dad and a good, good, great coach. And I know that he's been here a long time, more than I have been, and that he, he just, we, I just that we know that we love him a lot, and that he's just been great overall. And he, even though he pushes us, it's a good kind of push. It's a, it's a great kind of push that we all need to just succeed in life. So. Nice. Next sophomore, Sierra Daly. Thank <laughs> you. 
situations here and I just appreciate everybody being here. Thank you and we can play ball, right? Hey, remember what we're here for now. Okay. Party part of it's over. Okay, the seniors, the seniors last home game, so y'all play uh, give a hundred and thirty percent. Okay. Not about all you today. It's about them today. So give it up for them, okay? Okay, anything else? Stay focused. Stay focused, y'all, and play hard. Let's go. Seniors. Friday, three, one, two, three, right! Everybody should have a cloud out there. 